Hi, I'm Frankie. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an Azure Static Web App in five minutes. To create an Azure Static Web App, you need a website. So I created this landing page for a fictional bakery that we can use for our demo. I'll include the GitHub repo in the description. Let's navigate over to the Azure Marketplace and we'll start by searching uh, Static Web Apps. We'll find Static Web App and start creating it. We'll select our resource group or create a new one. Give your Azure Static Web App a name. When it comes to plans, we have three different options. You can compare the plans and we can see that free is easy to get started with. If you work for an organization, you're probably gonna wanna use standard. With standard, that's where you're gonna be able to have your private endpoints, custom authorization, uh, some more uh, availability for staging environments. Uh, the dedicated option is more unique and new. It's still in preview right now, so not recommended for production environments. Uh, it helps with some data residency policy requirements organizations might have and some always-on functionality for the Azure functions that need to always be on that are connected to your Azure Static Web Apps. For now, in this version, I'll just choose free and we'll move forward. When deploying your Azure Static Web App, you'll need to deploy from a GitHub repo, an Azure DevOps repo, or some other repository. You'll likely need to authenticate for this to work. So I've already authenticated my GitHub account, which is why I have my GitHub name here. And I can then select the organization, my repository that I'll be using, which is my fictional bakery repo, the master branch that I'll be using, and it already detects that the static web app that I created is using the React framework, which is true in my repo. If you go take a look, uh, the application is just the root. And I actually don't have any server functionality on the back end that is necessary. So I won't be adding an Azure function to this demonstration. This workflow configuration file is the GitHub Actions workflow file that's going to be used for my CI CD setup. I can preview the workflow file to see how it's going to be used and what will be added to my GitHub repo so that I know how my Azure Static Web App can be updated when new changes are made. I can see that this GitHub action will run when there are pushes to the master branch or when there are pull request actions that take place. Moving to advanced features, when your Azure Static Web App is created, your static files are cached in data centers all over the world. However, the Azure function associated with your Azure Static Web App, if you have one, is only located in one Azure region. That means if somebody were to uh, try and reach out to your Azure Static Web App and they need to make server-side requests, there could be networking traffic that goes from one Azure region all the way to your Azure function and back. This might create a lot of latency and take a long time, and so there's this distributed functions option in preview which is only available on standard or dedicated plans, which essentially allows the Azure function in one region to be cloned across other regions so that someone can still reach it quickly if they're in another place of the world. I won't use tags for this Azure Static Web App, and I'll take a look at my options. Everything looks good, and I'll create my Azure Static Web App now. I'll speed up deployment until it's created. All right, I see my deployment is complete. I can go to my resource. I can see that my uh, Azure Static Web App has a URL. This is the URL, I can go to this now. I see that my Azure Static Web App is not up and running. That's because the workflow file from a GitHub action is probably still running. If I go to my GitHub repo, I can go to my actions tab and see that my workflow file is still currently running. This is the first time that it's being ran so that my Azure Static Web App can be deployed. My GitHub action is done. I should be able to now go to my URL and see that my Azure Static Web App is up. On my URL that was given to me with my Azure Static Web App, this site is now public and available for use. If you want to learn more about Azure Static Web Apps, you can find these resources in the description. If this video was helpful for you, please like it and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And if you missed the overview video on Azure Static Web Apps, you can find that video here. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.